Welcome back to the channel guys. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can combine all the different navigators together in React Navigation version 3. So we're going to be combining the Create Switch Navigator, the Create Stack Navigator, the Create Draw Navigator, as well as the Create Tab Navigator together into one solid navigation flow. So let me show you what we're going to be building. To begin with, we have a Create Switch Navigator on the top, which allows us to either go to the login screen or to the sign up screen. Clicking login, let's assume that the user has logged in completely and is taken to the dashboard of the app. As you can notice, here on top, we have a draw navigator available to us. We can either click this button or swipe in from the left and we can access our draw navigator. The screen inside the draw navigator has a tab navigator at the bottom. Clicking on each tab, you can notice that a header title changes as well. Not only that, each tab inside it has a stack navigator. So we can go inside this detailed screen, which is inside the feed tab navigator. And you can notice that our header still updates. And even from this screen, if you want, we can swipe in from the left and access our parent draw navigator. This particular design pattern should help you create a very complex app very easily. So in front of me, I've got an empty React Native project that I created with Expo and I'm running it on my iPhone 10 simulator. Let's start by installing React Navigation. So let's open up the terminal and we'll say yarn add react navigation and we'll go for a particular version which is 3.0.8. Once that's installed, we're good to go. So I'm just going to paste in some notes here. This is the structure that we're going to follow. At the top, we have a create switch navigator which has the welcome screen and the draw navigator. So let's go ahead and create our create switch navigator. Here, I'm going to import create switch navigator from react navigation and let's go ahead and create it. So we'll say const app switch navigator. You can call it whatever you like. We'll say create switch navigator and it'll have two screens. Let the first screen be called welcome and it's going to point to the welcome screen. The second screen is going to be dashboard and for now let it point to the dashboard screen. For simplicity, I'm just going to create these two screens in the app.js itself. So here, let's just create a component. I'm using my custom snippets, which are available in the description. Let's call this welcome screen. All this snippet does is create a basic React Native component. Similarly, let's create a dashboard component. And let's call that dashboard screen. Now, as you can see, we're not getting any errors but we're also not seeing our welcome screen here. That's because by default, we're exporting our app class component here. Instead of this, we want to export our create switch navigator that we just created. For that, we'll import something known as create app container. Now let's go ahead and wrap our app switch navigator into a create app container to create a container. See here, we'll say const app container is equal to create app container and pass in our app switch navigator here. If you want, we can directly export this from here or a better way would be to just pass this into our app class. So let's get rid of this view here and say app container. Now if we save that out, you see we're getting our first screen as the welcome screen. Let's go ahead and add two buttons to our welcome screen. For that, let's import in button here from React Native. And the two buttons that we'll add are the login button and the sign up buttons. So here in the welcome screen, I'm going to get rid of this text. I'm just going to create a button which says login. And similarly, I'm going to create one which says sign up. And there we're seeing our two buttons and we can navigate to our dashboard screen by using the navigation prop here inside the on press. Let's pass in this dot props dot navigation dot navigate and pass in the dashboard screen. Now, if you click login, we see we're taken to the dashboard screen. But as we had discussed earlier, we want the dashboard screen to be a draw navigator. Here, we don't have access to a draw navigator yet. So let's go ahead and create our draw navigator. For that, let's first import in create draw navigator here. So we'll say create draw navigator. Come down here and above our app switch navigator, let's say const app draw navigator, create draw navigator, and here, Let's create our first screen as dashboard and pass it the dashboard screen. Now inside the app switch navigator, let's change the screen to the app draw navigator. Let's save that out. Now if we click on login, we
we see we go to the dashboard screen and we have the drawer available to us. So now we have a switch navigator, which has a draw navigator inside it. Now here's the slightly tricky part. Inside the draw navigator, we have a dashboard screen. But inside the dashboard screen, we want to have a tab navigator so that we can get our three tabs. But we also want that tab navigator to have a header so that the header updates every time we change the tab. For that, inside the app draw navigator, the first screen, which is a dashboard, we're going to change that to a dashboard stack navigator. So we'll have a stack navigator inside the draw navigator and inside the stack navigator is where we'll add the tab navigator. As we build this together, I'm sure things will get clearer to you. So let's first go ahead and create our dashboard tab navigator. For that, let's first import our create bottom tab navigator here. And coming down here above our app draw navigator, let's say const dashboard tab navigator is equal to create bottom tab navigator. And let's create our three screens. Let's call the first one feed, the second one profile, and the last one settings. I'm just gonna create these three screens here as well. So let's just create a React Native component, call that feed. The second one is going to be settings. And the last one is going to be profile. So we have our dashboard tab navigator prepared. Let's pass that in now to our app draw navigator instead of this dashboard screen. So say dashboard tab navigator. And here you notice that we're taken to our dashboard screen, which has a tab navigator at the bottom and also has a draw navigator available. Now we spoke about wrapping this tab navigator in a stack navigator. That's because right now there is no header available to us here. So instead of directly passing in the dashboard tab navigator, let's put this dashboard tab navigator in another stack navigator. So here let's say const dashboard stack navigator is equal to create stack navigator. And let's also import in stack navigator here on the top. Come here, inside our stack navigator, we'll pass in our dashboard tab navigator, which will point to the dashboard tab navigator. Now, instead of directly passing the dashboard tab navigator here, let's say dashboard stack navigator. Let's save that out. And we're getting an error here because we've created this tab navigator below this. Let's copy this and move it below the tab navigator because it cannot find this dashboard tab navigator as of now. If we save that out, we see it's working again. Clicking on login, we're taken into our app draw navigator, which has a stack navigator, which is the dashboard stack navigator, due to which we're getting this header. Inside that dashboard stack navigator, we have our dashboard tab navigator. So now as we change the tabs, we have the header, which is common to all three tabs. But the reason we wrapped our stack navigator around our tab navigator was so that we could get the name of the tab here in the header. So let's see how we can do that. So here in our dashboard tab navigator, we'll open up a pair of curly braces and we'll say navigation options. In that, we'll pass in the navigation prop. And here, we'll check what the route name is by saying const route name is equal to navigation.state.routes. And in that array, we'll say navigation dot state dot index. This will get us the index of the active tab in our stack navigator. And here we can pass in the options by saying return. We'll say header title and set that to our route name. Now if we click login, you see our feed tab name is coming here in our header. Our profile tab name is also reflecting and so is our settings tab name. You might be thinking, how can we modify the navigation options from the dashboard tab navigator? Now, if you look here inside our stack navigator, we have only one screen, which is the dashboard tab navigator. We can modify the header title from the navigation options from this particular screen. That's what we're doing here. In the dashboard tab navigator, we modify the navigation options to display the tab name in the header. So this header is actually getting updated in the stack navigator. Now, the cool thing is that if you want to have an icon here, 
which allows us to open the draw navigator. We just need to set that in one place. Here in the dashboard stack navigator, we can set up default navigation options. These will reflect across all the stacks children unless they're overridden. So here we'll say default navigation options. Again, pass in the navigation prop. Inside that we'll return a header left, which we'll set as an icon of name MD menu. Give it a size of 30 and close that out. As of now, we don't have icon imported. So let's import that here on the top. For those of you using Expo, you can directly just import icon here from Expo, vector icons, and you can choose which icons you want. I'm going to be using Ionicons. For those of you not using Expo, you can install the React Native Vector Icons library and you can use the icons in a similar fashion. If we save that out and now click on login, you notice that we get this MD menu icon that we had just created here and it's visible on all the tabs by just setting it once on the parent stack navigator. Let's style this a little. So we'll say style, give it a padding left of 10 and let's also set an on press on it so that we can open up our drawer. So we'll say on press is equal to navigation dot open drawer. Now if we click login, we get the icon just placed nicely from the left. Clicking on the icon, we can open up our drawer from any screen. So that completes part one of combining our navigators in React Navigation version three. This particular layout will be very useful for most apps. There's one particular case which is not covered here, and that is what if each screen has more screens inside it and you want to have a common header for those screens. I'm going to be covering that in the next video. Till then, I hope you guys try this out and please like, share and subscribe.